In our experiment, we will be showing the process of denaturation by denaturing the proteins in milk to produce something called casein glue. What denaturation is, is the process in which proteins lose the structure that they have in their native state. And you can, do the, you can go about this process in many ways. These ways include applying strong acid or base, which is what we will be doing in this experiment, to apply a concentrated inorganic salt, to apply an organic solvent, or to apply radiation or heat to the substance. The protein that we will be producing in this lab is casein. Casein is a protein that is made up of carbon, hydrogen, phosphorus, oxygen, and sulfur. It makes up about 3% of most milks, and it is one of the proteins that can be used in both non-food and food products. Some of the non-food products that it is used in is our combs, glue, paints, buttons, and more. Alright, so this for this lab we're gonna need skim milk, vinegar, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda, pan for heating, uh, food coloring, this is optional. Uh, measuring cup is useful a strainer or a cheesecloth, and this is just a container for the glue. Step one, we're gonna add 500 milliliters of the skim milk into the pan, and we're gonna add 75 milliliters of the vinegar into the pan. Step two, heat your mixture and begin to stir it. At this point, the solution should develop a strong odor and the consist consistency should start to change to solid. Step three, when curdling begins, like it has here, remove it from the heat and begin to stir it again. Step four, let the curds settle on the bottom. There should be a liquid portion on top. This is called the whey. Step five, pour your mixture into a strainer to pour off the whey and leave, a, leave the curds in the strainer. Step six. So we're gonna scrape, we're gonna move the solution into a container and add 30 grams of baking soda and 50 milliliters of water. For best results, slightly stir the mixture of baking soda, water, and the curds. Step seven. So we have our finished product of case, casein glue. And this step's optional, but you can add food coloring to your glue and stir it around and it looks pretty cool. Step eight. To test your casein glue, Put some in between two pieces of paper and stick them together. Once this glue dries, they will be stuck together. Like this example, which is from a previous trial of our experiment, you can see that these two pieces of paper are well stuck together by the casein glue.
You can actually use any type of milk to produce casein and glue. But they all have varying results in terms of how strong the glue is. So you can use 2% reduced fat milk, you can use fat free skim milk, or you can even use chocolate milk. These will all produce a, uh, a casein and glue, but the more protein that is in the milk, the stronger the glue will be. So powdered milk, which uh, has the most protein out of all the milks, would be the strongest glue since it has more protein than all of the other ones. In this experiment, we test many physical and chemical properties, mainly the use of solubility, that is, the casein dissolving into a liquid, protein denaturation, which we explained earlier, and polymers, which is stringing together uh, molecules. And this works in the case of the glue molecules strung together. An example of denaturation is in the process of making cheese. In cheese making, a microorganism is entered into the milk that lowers its pH and also causes the milk to curdle. After it curdles, the enzyme called rennet is used to cause these curds to coagulate or clump together, which is basically cheese. This is an opposite process of milk souring, because in milk souring, uh, it is the action of bacteria that causes the milk to sour, as opposed to adjusting the pH. So the purpose of our experiment was showing the process of denaturation by curdling milk with an acid to produce casein glue.